board today. We're doing circuit training again. We got legs up on the board for y'all today. Um, how this one works, there are four people in your group. There are four different movements per circuit, okay? So how this one works is the person who's doing Ojani is gonna be the pacer of the circuit for that first rotation. Person number one starts here, person number two starts here, person number three starts here, person number four starts here. They're all gonna do their movements while it takes person number one the length of time to do 40 Ojani's. Once he does 40 Ojani's, everybody's gonna follow the arrows and shift. Ojani's go to ball bridge, ball bridge goes to spin, spins goes to RDL, and RDL goes up to Ojani. The person who is on RDL who's now on Ojani will do 40. And everybody's gonna do the new movement as long as it takes him to do 40. And then everyone's gonna shift again. Third person will do 40, and then the fourth person will do 40. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing again while we do 30 and 20. Once everybody's cycled through 40, 30, and 20, and all of the other exercises for three rounds, then you guys can pick and move on to the next circuit. Does anybody have any questions on how it's ran? Okay, awesome. Let's go over the exercises real quick. We'll get you guys rocking and rolling. We got Ojani's up at the top, hands back behind the ears, and we're just giving a little hip shift as we are dropping those knees down to four. That's two, three, okay, we're counting uh, to a total of 40. While our partners are doing these active rests, okay, we've got ball bridge is gonna be the first one. Get yourself a medicine ball. We're gonna drive through those heels, guys keeping it close to the booty, and we are arching it. Okay, notice that his knees to his hips to his shoulders are a straight beam line, okay? Uh, you can also put your feet together if you wanna work on the outside of the booty and driving it up that way. Spins, either jump rope or a bike, up to you. Just looking to stay busy there. And then our last one, but not the least one, is going to be the Romanian deadlifts, guys. We did these last week. Uh, gonna practice on them a little bit more. Remember, we're starting with the dumbbells back kind of behind the booty, and we're going to set them down on our toes. Okay, nice, good posture there. They were bringing it up and getting that good rotation, squeezing the back, squeezing the glutes, keeping it all nice and tight. Circuit number two. Counter is going to be box jump. Okay, so we're starting at 25, finding your appropriate box, jumping on there, landing nice and softly, and then stepping off. Okay, after we do 25, we're gonna do 20 and then 15. And at the time we are rotating, guys, our active rest is going to be sumo squat is going to be the first one. Feet nice and wide, we're gonna have our toes at that 45 degree angle, and we are dropping like an elevator. Remember, that's the biggest thing, trying to keep our chest and shoulders up tall. Here we're not coming forward, we're going straight down. Okay, trying to get as deep as we can with that kettlebell. Step back, lunge with the leg lift. We're just gonna be alternating knees here. Step back with the right, and then drive that heel up to the sky to work that booty. Step back with the left, drive the heel up to work that booty. And calf raises will be our last one here. Feel free to grab uh, some dumbbells if you'd like, put a bar on your back, something, just to make it a little bit more resistance for your calves. You can also come over on one of these lower end boxes. That way you can get a little bit of a deficit in there as well. Circuit number three, plate pushes is going to be the counter. So four is the first one. So down, back, down, back. While your partner is doing swings for the first act of rest over here. Swings are going to be a forward, backward motion, getting that good squeeze in the booty at the top. We've got thrusters. Thrusters, guys, you can use a bar, you can use a kettlebell, you can use one dumbbell, whatever you got to use. Going to be cool with that today because there's a lot of equipment being used. All right, so we're going to go down, kicking those elbows outside or inside of the knees, guys. Remember, wide your stance is, but bringing those elbows down to the knees, and then we are pressing that kettlebell kind of up above our head, popping our head out the window. And last but not least, in this one, we've got pop squat, going down, checking the floor for depth, bringing the feet together. This is more of those cardio legs, but keeping it moving. Last but not least. The circuit is going to be, hills is going to be your pacer, your counter, okay? Three hills, all the way down to the bottom of the street, all the way back up to the first garage door. While our other partners are doing wall balls, we're gonna be done outside, uh, on the outside of the walls, okay? We're going down, squatting, throwing it up, and then catching it back down in that squat position. Make sure we're not just standing up and shooting free throws. Speed skaters, again, needs to be done outside as well. Okay, going side to side. Notice that he's checking his depth. We're working on the outside of our high knees here, and he's not just doing the salsa dance up top. And squat jacks is going to be our last one. We're gonna have that uh, dumbbell up underneath the chin, squatting down, and we are coming up and pressing that dumbbell up above our head. Again, kind of like a mixture of a wall ball and a pop squat.
squat. All right. Um, that's about it, guys. Get a massy lap for a warm up. Come back.